With the epidemic abating, Premier Su Zintang has ordered a gradual return to normalcy. Taiwan posted just four local cases for the second day in a row on Monday. At a morning meeting, Premier Su ordered a loosening of COVID restrictions and a gradual return to pre-pandemic life. According to a government source, eating and drinking will soon be allowed again on the railway and high-speed rail. The CECC is expected to announce the new rules as early as March 1st. Even on a workday, this cherry blossom hotspot is bustling with tourists. Amid an easing epidemic, Premier Su Jincheng said Monday that COVID rules will be relaxed to permit normal economic activity. The Premier signaled a step toward normalcy, which means Taiwan's COVID alert could soon be lowered. During the two-week observation period after Spring Festival, the pandemic's parameters remain within a stable and controllable range. Easing restrictions is an imperative. We will announce the measures altogether later on. The CECC said lowering COVID restrictions was, quote, an imperative. It's cheering news for the hospitality sector, which is optimistic on sales for the coming long weekend. Since Spring Festival, we've all been very successful with COVID containment. So there's a lot of confidence in the domestic tourism sector. Compared to last year's 228P's Memorial Day long weekend, this time sales are up 30 percent. We are also very optimistic about the Penghu Fireworks Festival. Crowds were huge last year, and this year, due to Taiwan's success with COVID, we believe that the outlying islands will be very busy. Travel agencies are rushed off their feet ahead of the 228 Peace Memorial Day holiday. Trips to outlying islands are in high demand. East Coast hotel rooms are also a hot item, with bookings outperforming Spring Festival. Over the 228 Peace Memorial Day holiday, actually, on the 26th and 27th, our occupancy rates are between 80 percent and 90 percent. Tourism interest is back, and public transport rules are about to ease, too. According to a source in the Transport Ministry, plans are underway to lift the ban on eating and drinking on trains, provided that social distancing can be maintained. The CECC is expected to announce the new rules as early as March 1st, setting off a gradual return to normalcy.